good. Salem Circle Church of Christ. It is 10 4 20 October. First weekend of October. The lesson today will be knowledge is key, no other ways. Knowledge is key, no other ways. We have a few members not with us this Lord's Day, but we'll keep them in prayer as they travel, we travel in grace. And all those who are sick and shut in on this particular day and hope that all goes well with their body, and the temple of God. And let us, as we come into Sanders family, we call it the Salem Circle Sanders uh, Circle today. You know, uh, <laughs> just a little bit of praise this morning, giving them a little praise. Uh, but, <laughs> but it is the Salem Circle Church of Christ. Just a sense of humor this morning. It's Brother Polk here, uh, me and Brother Sanders, uh, and Sister Sanders, as we dive into this lesson today. Um, I want you to keep uh, the St. Augustine Church of Christ in prayer. On last Sunday, we had a person uh, get baptized with my cousin, uh, ministers, and uh, brother uh, Vincent Pope. Uh, he's the minister there. He had a baptism. He just wanted to be to inform me on last week of 9:27:20 a.m. services. They had a baptism. Just to keep them in prayer and his ministry that, that they keep stay faithful and the new babe in Christ stays faithful to the end. That, you know, the wells of the devil will come from all directions now. You came and put on Christ, put on him in baptism, became a new creature in Christ. We'll keep that in prayer. And and we, we'll, we'll just go into our lessons this morning. We'll, we'll start out with a song. Uh, not sure what the first song will be. Our, our sheets have, uh, oh, listen to the wondrous story page 496, but I think Brother Sanders will be changing that, and uh, I'll be open up with a prayer. We'll open up with a prayer and go from there and go into God's <clears throat> written word this morning as we assemble. Father God, uh, I come this morning making that petition be known unto you. Father, I pray for the Salem Circle and, and the St. Augustine Church of Christ as well, that the babe in Christ uh, walk worthy to the praise of Christ and do your blessed will and be faithful unto the end. Father, we pray that you continue to keep a hedge around us all on a daily basis, Father. Father, uh, I pray for the sick to shut in and those who are bedridden and all those things, Father. Father, you know what we need and we gotta ask to achieve in Christ Jesus. Father, Thank you for this day why it's called today in the Lord. May we do all things that are fine and pleasing in our sights of you. Father, thank you. In Jesus' name I do say, amen. amen. First song. First song, uh, Anywhere with Jesus, uh, page 17, 12, 17. That's a folder. We'll sing... Uh, one, two, and four, verses one, two, and four. Anywhere with Jesus. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere he leads me in this world below. Anywhere without the dearest choice would fade. Anywhere with Jesus I am not afraid. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere with Jesus I am not alone. Other friends may fail me, he is still my own. Though his hands may lead me over drearest ways. Anywhere with Jesus is a house of praise. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere with Jesus I can go to sleep. When the darkness shadows round about me creep. 
knowing I shall wake and evermore to roam. Anywhere with Jesus will be home, sweet home. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Thank you, my brother, for this morning for that first song. And we're now going to a scripture reading. We call it the opening scripture for encouragement. This morning, scripture reading will come from Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1 through 3. A plea for repentance to the people is the scripture contents. A plea for repentance to the people. He says, Gather yourselves together. Ye gather together, O nations. Not desire. Before the decree broke forth, before the day passed as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all you meet of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness, it may be ye shall be healed in the day of the Lord's anger. And the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and doers of his word. Amen this morning. Amen. 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 Seventh song will be 74 Heavenly Sunlight this morning, all three <clears throat> verses. Heavenly sunlight. Walking in sunlight all of my journey over the mountains through the deep bells. Jesus has said I'll never forsake thee Promise divine that never can fail. Heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul with glory divine. Hallelujah, I am rejoicing, singing his praises. Jesus is mine. Shadows around me, shadows above me, never conceal my Savior and God. He is the light, in Him is no darkness, ever I'm walking close to His side. Heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul with glory divine. Hallelujah, I am rejoicing, singing his praises, Jesus is mine. In the bright sunlight, ever rejoicing, pressing my way to mansions above, singing his praises, gladly I'm walking, Walking in sunlight, sunlight of love. Heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul with glory divine. Hallelujah, I am rejoicing, singing his praises, Jesus is mine. song will be Trust and Obey 83 <clears throat> Sing verses 1, 2, and 5 Trust and Obey When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust. 
there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but his smile quickly drives it away. sword shall cut off, cut thee off. It, is, it shall eat thee up like the uh, cocker worm, <laughs> cranker, cranker worm. Make thyself meet many as the canker worm make thyself many as the locust. Thou hast multiplied thy merchants above the stars of heaven. The canker wood spoil it, and he fly it away. And they crown or, <clears throat> excuse me, or as the locusts, and, and uh, camp as the, as the great grasshopper, which camp in the hedges in the cold day. But when the sun arises, they flee away. And their place is not known where are they are. The shepherds slumber, O king of Assyria, Assyria, thy nobles shall dwell in the dust. The people is scattered upon the mountains, and no man gathered them. There is no healing of thy bruised, thy womb. It's grievous. All that hear the blunt of the thee shall clap, shall clap their the hand over thee, for upon whom had not thy wickedness passed continually. The Lord had a blessing to the ears and believers of His word, and continue to do His blessed will. Not only hears, but hear and believe, and do the Lord's will. Amen. Amen. We have a prayer. If there be any prayer requests this morning, let's make it known unto God this morning. It's just before the Lord's Supper. We want to bring all things to the table. 
prayer and making it known to God this morning. If there's any prayer requests this morning, I'll do so at this time. Uh, I have one. Uh, I guess with all that's been going on with my uh, family, you know, sometimes we have to just stand still and just understand that God is in control and with all this that's been going on, it just it made me to examine some things in my life. Um, and I know there are some things in my life that God is not pleased with. Um, I have ashamed the church and and I come before you guys asking God to forgive me for my sins and to get that relationship back with God and where I can have a prayer life with him and, and just to learn how to be obedient to death and just trust him in all things and just give him all of me. I'm just so thankful for him sending his son to die for my sins and not only for my sins but for the whole world's sins. And, and it just caused me to want to be a better Christian, to uh, get in his word more and to share his word with those with people that are lost. You know, I, I dropped the ball in so many areas of my life and just made me really examine some things in my life and like I said you know I know God is not pleased with me about some things in my life so I ask you guys to pray for me and with me okay. just continue to pray for the church all over the world uh, you know, a lot of times you know we have storms in our lives but always be so diligent to, to keep focused on, on God but uh, those of us that are in the Lord's church we get, you know, that's all of us all over the world when we do stumble in our ways we know it's not according to his way we stumble so that you know pray that we just continue to press on when we do transgress God's law that we repent and uh, he continue to give us grace and mercy throughout our lifetime here on earth uh, that we may get it right and not hold it against any of us in the last days. Pray for my family on tomorrow. Mom has surgery and uh, I think the surgery starts at 8 a.m. Tyler, Texas at the uh, UT Health in Thomas. It'll be 8 a.m. for a same day procedure. But no matter if it being a same day procedure or a major procedure, it's a procedure. There's no such thing as minor surgery to me. All surgery is very difficult. So if you can check in, you might not check out. Prayers, a blood clot situation that needs to be handled, took care of. As I heard, my grandmother died from a blood clot. So that's something that's serious in all matters. Prayers of the righteous are very much. Continue to pray for me, my strength, and the ability that God gives me to do His blessed will, no matter how hard. How hard the situation may be with this body. Continue to strive on as a soldier in Christ. And I want to pray for the Gibbons family that's on the road. Pray for the Johnson family that's not here on this particular Lord's Day. Continue to tell them to hold on to God's unchanging hand and never lose, do, never take their hands off the pump. Continue to do His blessed will until the end. That's all I have in the matters of prayer. I let Brother Sanders be on a prayer this morning. If you would like to do so. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful once again, Father, to be assembled here this morning on this Lord's Day, Father. Another opportunity to gather together like-minded saints, Father, same mind, same judgment. 
and to worship you in spirit and truth, Father, we pray that our worship be not in vain, Father, that we block out all the outside things going on in the world, Father, that while we're gathered here this morning, Father, that we, every, that everything that we do, Father, is pleasing and acceptable in our sight. And Father, we know you know all things, you see all things, Father, you hear all things. Father, we know the request that was made on behalf of, the ch of your children, Father. We pray for Sister Sanders, Father, that the things that she lacked, Father, that you help her, you strengthen and comfort her, Father. You continue to give her the grace and mercy to work those things out in her life, Father. That we, we know the intent of her heart already, Father. Father, we know that she tried very hard, very diligent to do the, to do the things that is right in the eyesight, Father. We just pray that you just continue to bless her. Keep her in your mighty hand, Father. Always help her in all the areas and phases of her life. And Father, we pray for the petition lifted up on behalf of all your children all over this earth, Father those of us that may fall short of your glory from time to time, Father, we pray that we're able to get up and keep pressing on. Uh, we pray that you continue to bestow grace and mercy upon us, Father. Father, we're so thankful that you can strengthen and comfort us and that when we do transgress, Father, that we repent and that you not hold it against us in those last days. Father, we pray for the Gibbons family and with them traveling, Father. We pray for traveling grace to, to the destination, Father, and from the destination, Father. We just pray that you continue to watch over them, protect them, keep that hedge around them, Father, that they may make it, make it back. So on the next appointed Lord's Day, Father, that they may be amongst us in the number. Father, we pray for the Johnson family that that are, they are not here as well, Father, that uh, you continue to be with them, comfort and strengthen them as well. And Father, we pray for Brother Pope's uh, mother uh, with the procedure that she will be having, Father, for we understand that surgery is major, that uh, it's unsure, but we don't have the knowledge of the doctors and nurses and the people in that particular field, Father, but we pray that you be with her, Father, that you be with the doctors and nurses and uh, with the knowledge and wisdom of the understanding of the body, Father, and that you guide them and uh, that they're able to perform the task to alleviate the blood clots, Father, and uh, give her a reasonable portion of her health and strength back, Father, that she may be able to rehab and heal quickly, Father, and get back to her normal self. And Father, we just pray for this service. Uh, here this morning, Father, as we continue uh, going through the five, five items of worship, Father, and we pray that we do so in a manner uh, that brings glory and honor to you, Father, that, uh, that we do not add or take away from it, Father. And Father, we're so thankful for you sending your Son, Jesus Christ, uh, to this earth, down on the cross for the sins of the world, Father, and we're so thankful for uh, that ultimate sacrifice so thankful for his obedience and that example that he gives us, Father, that we should follow uh, wholeheartedly, Father. We can't thank you enough for all the things that you have blessed us with, for all the things that you provide for us, Father. And Father, we just continue as we uh, tread upon this earth as your children, Father, that you can just continue to be with us. And Father, when we're not able to uh, be strong, and Father, we pray that you, that's when you carry us and Help us to get through any storms of life. And Father, we pray for those that are lost also, Father, that you may give them the allotted time to hear your gospel, uh, that they may come across someone that's in the church, Father, that may teach them, thus says the Lord, Father, that they may hear it, that it may prick their hearts, Father, that they may ask that question, what must I do to be saved, that they may obey, Father, and uh, be faithful unto death, for we know death is in the land, 
and we pray for those that have uh, lost loved ones that are mourning at this particular time, Father, for we know as well as you live, you will die, Father, but what you do while you live is what matters the most. And Father, we just pray for the mourning. We pray that you strengthen and comfort them in their time of mourning, uh, that they be very attentive and alert, Father, of what's really going on and that and all that you do and all that we see around about us, Father, is warnings for us that we are in these last days, and yet we do not know when you will send your son Jesus Christ back, Father, that we be ready and we be we always watch and pray. And Father, once again, we just can't thank you enough for all that you have done for us. And we just ask all these prayers in our son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's name. Let us all say amen. amen. Jesus is raised from the dead. Jesus is raised from the dead. 
the scriptural contents and the reading. He says, in the end of the Saturday, as it began, began to dawn, toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sculpture. And behold, there was a great earthquake from the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angels answered and said unto the women, Fear not, ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, Come see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sculpture with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, All hell. And they came and hailed him by the feet and worshiped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid, go tell my brethren that I that, that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. And the Lord had a blessing to the hearers and doers of this word by focusing on Jesus this morning of the bread and the cup. And now comes the time for the prayer for the bread and the prayer for the cup. As we partake this particular Lord's Day, every first day of the week, let him lay by his side. As we remember Jesus dying on the cross, as we pray for the bread, which is the broken body of Christ, we do this in remembrance of him every first day of the week. And every day we always focus on and, and remember Jesus, what he's done for us. When we didn't deserve mercy, we continue to get mercy and grace. Father, we know that his body was broken upon that old rugged cross, Father, and his blood was shed for all mankind. But, Father, we have to continue to do your blessed will and stay faithful until the end. Remembering Jesus died, and let us raise up and do his blessed will and not look back. Let us continue to focus on Jesus daily. Let us continue to break bread and drink the food of the vine. In Jesus' name I do so. Amen. one portion of the bread and the cup of a remembering of Jesus. Now we go to the next section of, uh, of service by singing a song and then we'll, we'll uh, focus on the collection. Go to song. Uh, 84. I have decided to follow Jesus. Thank you. 
mercy. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. No turning back, no turning back. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. No turning back, no follow him. Come to the scriptural encouragement in the collection of the saints. The scriptural reading will come from Luke 21, 1 through 4. The widow's offering, as we all focus on the widow's offering, Luke 21, 1 through 4. It's in, and the scripture read, and I looked up and saw the rich man casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said of the truth of a truth, I say unto you that this is this poor widow had cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offering of God. But she of her penance, penance had cast in all the living that she had. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers of his word and believers and continue to do as we take up the Lord's collection. Father, we don't thank you for being able to bless us to be able to give from the heart mind, body, and soul. It's not the physical that man look at, but it's the confidence of the heart that God looks at. God judges the cheerful giver as we give our means to the Lord to make it pleasing unto the Lord that the works and the ministry of the church move forward and be able to be done by the blessed will of the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to all who, who gave and all who could not give. Father, we want to thank you for being able to allow us to be able to give from our hearts, our means to you. And no other but to you. Because everything must be pleasing in our sense of the Lord. And the Lord, Lord have a blessing to us all. In Jesus' name I do say. before the lesson will be seven, revive us again. And the invitation song will be 89.
praise thee, O God, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Hallelujah, by the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, by the glory. Revive us again. We praise thee, O God. For thy spirit of life, who has shown us our Savior and scattered our night. Hallelujah, by the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, by the glory. Revive us again. Revive us again. Fill each heart with thy love. May each soul be rekindled with fire from above. Hallelujah, by the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, by the glory. Revive us again. For being able to come into the house of the Lord and be able to still come and serve Him. No matter how hard the condition may be for us to get up on this particular Lord's Day, He gave us our being, our means of getting up by His strength and ability that God gives us to do. To be able to move, breathe, and have our being as the book talks about. We, uh, we move and breathe because of Him because of self, of him. And we're thankful on this particular Lord's Day and every day that he gives us to move, breathe, and have our being. 